A 48 female was brought into ER with complaints of dizziness with palpitations with a known case of hypertension on regular medication for three years. At present, she was having a pulse rate around 205 to 225 with a blood pressure of 130 over 88 mmHg. An emergency electrocardiogram is done. What do you see here? Here, the rhythm strip demonstrates a regular, narrow complex tachycardia. It's supraventricular tachycardia, or SVT. If we talk about the type of SVT, it's most likely AVNRT. Now, the physician has come to a decision to use adenosine, and administration has started. So, how to administer adenosine? Adenosine can be given both from peripheral and central IV access. The initial dose of adenosine preferred in SVT is 6 mg and should be given over 1 to 3 seconds, or administered very quickly, and should be followed with an 4-fluid solution to push it into circulation. Here, as we can see the heart rate on monitor is 209 BPM, and rhythm SVT. Now, here giving adenosine through peripheral IV quickly, followed by normal saline. As soon as adenosine is administered, the arm should be raised above the head to get it to the target, which is the AV nodal receptors in the heart. As soon as it reaches its target receptor, it acts very quickly to reduce the AV conduction, thus reducing heart rate. Here is the rhythm after the administration of adenosine. It's sinus and regular. Adenosine can cause bradycardia, hypotension, and atrioventricular block in some cases, so we should be aware of these side effects. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and support us to learn more. Thank you.